Hi there, in this video I'm going to demonstrate you how one can troubleshoot the errors while loading macros in Oracle Fusion ADF Desktop Integrator. So this issue is across the ADF uh, uh, Integrator or off late FPDI. Uh, in terms of different modules uses the same functionality it's just that the layout is different and the upload method is the same upload download method is the same so the issue that I'm facing is when I open a downloaded Excel file from fusion cloud it doesn't open the macros and uh, I'm trying to troubleshoot that so I want to share that uh, solution with you so let's go into fusion applications first to understand the issue and then we'll come to the solution all right here i am so i am uh, going to go in manage locations form and you know locations can be uploaded via the adfdi interface so i'm going to open this uh, manage locations form via this task okay and here I'm going to click on manage in spreadsheet okay as soon as you do that it opens a spreadsheet okay I've downloaded that two three times before but just for end-to-end -end demonstration I've downloaded it again I'm going to open it and uh, once I open it as you could see I can't see the macros even if I click on this warning sign enable editing it doesn't show me anything at all apart from Oracle logo there is nothing this sheet this sheet or this sheet so what is the solution and I'm sure you know uh, most of you would have faced this issue and it takes a while to find the fix so it took me a while as well but uh, that's the reason why I thought I should share the solution with you guys alright so let's go back to the PowerPoint okay so there I am and here is the solution in two steps so step number one is check Excel trust center settings and second is install an add-in for Excel specifically for ADFDI so let's do that one by one so step number one is to check Excel trust center settings so let's go back to the downloaded Excel file alright so here I am here is the downloaded Excel file here I'm going to go into file okay and then as you could see at the bottom you've got options so I'm going to click on options okay and here you would see something called as trust center at the bottom on the left hand side uh, menu click on that and then you click on this uh, right side corner trust center settings button and once you come over here you click on macro settings from the left hand side menu and as you could see presently disable all macros without notifications so I'm gonna make this uh, the last one enable all macros um, and then I'm gonna also check this checkbox trust access to VBA project object model okay so these two settings you've got to do and once you do that hit the OK button hit OK again come out close Excel and retry it um, so if you already have that add-in as in step number two uh, I believe that Excel file should open now however let's try it again so I'm going to open it so in my case the add-in is not there and uh, you see it's still not open so we got to follow we got to download that ADFDI add-in for Excel okay so I'm gonna go and show you a um, Oracle support note on that so just hold on for a minute okay so I am referring to this note specifically latest version of the ADF desktop integrator add-in for Excel so I found out that this particular one I don't have it on my computer so you need to download that and install it on your computer so as you could see in the hyperlink over here download add-in installers so you click on that one and it's going to take you to the add-in one make sure you 
uh, download the latest one okay so you click on that and here you, uh, you have got the installation instructions as well so let's go and download this particular patch and then we will find out the way to install it so as you could see now uh, let's see its release is 12.2.1.4 and uh, it's a product of Oracle J developer and it's enabled for Microsoft Windows x64 okay so click on this hyperlink on the left hand side and uh, as soon as you do that here you've got the download button coming in so you click on this download button and then you click on this hyperlink for the file okay so this is patch number three five seven four six double seven nine and I believe it contains a Microsoft uh, installer so here is the file that got downloaded from that patch for ADF uh, installer okay so I'm going to click on this and here you can see the readme.txt let's look at that as to what it says so let's go to background compatibility installation types you must extract all installed file from the patch zip for attempting to run either installer okay installation instruction for all users so quit Excel completely and copy download the installer file desktop computer run the installer and follow the simple instructions in the installation wizard okay so first thing is close all the Excel so let's do that okay so I'm going to go back and close all the Excel so this is what our Excel was I'm going to close it okay and I have seen and there is no more Excel open so now I'm gonna go in and I will first extract this entire file over here okay extract all and I'm gonna extract it right here so it's gonna create a new folder and go in here and uh, we'll install it for all the users so I'm gonna click on this one now and uh, click on next and install click yes and as you could see the installation is complete so I'm going to close this and I'm going to go back to the downloaded Excel file or in fact let me just copy it to this folder itself so that was the Excel file we have downloaded for ADFDI for uploading the locations so I'm gonna open this this time let's see how it goes okay so I'm gonna click on enable editing and as you could see I got a warning message this time you are about to connect to the following application do you want to continue uh, and connect so I'm gonna click on yes and then here you provide your single sign-on details and hit the sign-in button okay so I've just done that and hopefully it should get me the template details now it is downloaded from fusion cloud and you see all the details are here and uh, you can see that you can log in log out you can clear all data and all the ADFDI related options are over here okay so we just downloaded the template but we haven't uploaded that so I'm going to use that later to uh, to upload the locations from this Excel templates anyway uh, the main thing was to show you the exact steps to troubleshoot the issue with ADF DI Excel based macros